Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to briefly discuss about firewall. So firewall is basically a fireproof wall to protect us from flames. So this is fireproof wall and there are some flames and this is there to protect us. But in networking, for example, in networking, what happens, we have uh, some network which we call this is our own network and we call this is our trusted network and then we also have some network maybe some uh, some other organizations network that may be internet network and we call that uh, untrusted network so there is one trusted network there is uh, untrusted network and of course we are part of internet so these two networks are somehow connected with each other then uh, there are some points that we want some protection from the untrusted network or from the traffic which is coming from untrusted network to the trusted network so for example in this case in networking this firewall actually protects our internal network from external network so this is the firewall which is protecting us from this external network and this is called, also known as internal network and this also protects from uh, with the private network. So we also call this a private network and this is a public network. So again, the purpose is same. The firewall is there or the firewall is used to protect our network. Now, but we want protection. So, so but uh, from what? For what we want to protect? So for instance, if uh, if, if uh, traffic is coming from this untrusted network to trusted network, for what, what we want. So we want this wall, so we want this firewall to block any unauthorized user from accessing the private network. So for example, if any unauthorized user, for example, there is some user which is kind of hacker, and it, it, if this wants to access the resources which are on our private network or untrusted network, we want to block that one. So we want to block the unauthorized access to this network. Now, for example, this is this traffic is coming to the firewall, then firewall has to make decision whether this is a good traffic or bad traffic. But now this firewall, actually this firewall can be a dedicated device, a dedicated machine can be there. And this can also be a software, but in both of the cases, the job is that this firewall has to monitor the traffic. So for example, I have shown here the Cisco device, Cisco firewall, you can see. So as an example, this, this device I have shown. And then we, we saw that if there is firewall, for example, firewall is there. And if firewall receives some packet or some information from the untrusted network, which is trying to go to the trusted network, then this firewall has to make decision whether this firewall should forward that traffic to the trusted network or this or this just drop or this should drop the traffic or should drop the packet so it means for both of the options it has to look at that it has to monitor it has to make the decision so for that purpose this uh, router needs some specific rules or logic to decide whether to allow or block certain packets. And now firewall for this purpose uses different or various techniques for this decision making. And on the basis of that decision, um, or, or the, the, the basis for taking these decision may be based on the source address, or the destination IP, IP address. For example, we can configure this firewall that please allow traffic maybe from this user maybe allow from this but block this users so in this way we can assign some IP addresses like in ACL or access control list so destination address as well as source addresses as well as the port numbers so we can use the port number as well as uh, as well for example traffic coming from a specific port maybe for example from HTTP which is using port number 80 so we can block on the basis of port number as well and we can also block the traffic so we can allow or block the traffic based on some specific URL or a web address, so www something, we can block the traffic from that particular URL as well. So these are uh, uh, 
different are, are the and the second option are some more options to decide whether to allow the traffic or discard that particular traffic and these firewall can also keep a record so they can also keep a record of the packets which are associated with some connection and for example if some some user is making some connection from this trusted network to untrusted network then they can keep a record or historical information in this state table and then future decision can be made on the basis of this state table so it means we have these uh, these uh, multiple options or multiple decision criteria by which this this firewall can make decision that whether to allow the packet or just discard the packet so this was the brief uh, introduction about firewall and we will discuss a bit in details about the firewall uh, type in our next video and uh, and thank you thank you very much for your time